Thanks for tuning in to the Charles Novell School of Music podcast, The Best Day Yet. Here you'll find tips, insight, and information to help your music and your ministry succeed. Whether you're a singer, a musician, or a songwriter, we want to help you where you are, but we also want to help you get to where you want to go. We believe that our talents are God's gift to us, but what we do with those are our gift back to God. Yesterday's information is important, but what we can learn today will make this the best day yet. Hello, Rob Novell here with the Charles Novell School of Music. Just want to remind you about CNS 24 happening July 14th through the 20th at Murray State University in Murray, Kentucky. CNS is a place for you to take your music and your ministry to the next level. It allows you to ask the right people the right questions to get the right answers. For more information, visit us online at www.cnsmusic.com.
Hey, welcome to another CNS Best Day Yet podcast episode. Full disclosure, you all, I, listen to me, uh, I have the flu. So listen, do not get too close to your speakers uh, because I, I think I am contagious. Um, you all, I'm, I'm just crazy. This is how much I love this podcast. I don't want to miss a week. So uh, we're going to do something special today. Um, Right off the bat, that was me playing an arrangement I did of Joy to the World. And we're just going to, it's Christmas still. It is Christmas. I hope you had an amazing Christmas, uh, let's see, yesterday with, I don't know, y'all. I started feeling bad on Saturday. And um, yesterday was rough. And then... um, yeah, I, I've lost track of the days. But anywho, uh, just we're just gonna have some special Christmas music today. Just make it a fun little episode. We had our CNN CNS online Christmas party on Friday night, and uh, we had some videos that we played of our staff. And with us just being an audio podcast, I uh, pulled the just the audio off of that. So we're gonna share some things there today. So coming up next, listen. Y'all, we are so blessed with this young lady to have her on our staff. Uh, Tara Jackson is a singing machine, a singing machine. We, uh, I love, love, love uh, her gifts, her abilities, her talents. Um, Tara is just an amazing human. And um, when we, again, we did our Christmas party on Friday night and I pulled this lyric video that she had done and uh, y'all listen to this. This will bless you.
Okay, was I right or was I right? You all, Tara has, has such a gift, and it is uh, that was just just even as bad as I feel that brought a ray of sunshine into my day. Okay, coming up next, um, uh, Roy Webb is on our staff, and Roy, man, what a gifted pianist. Roy played with Ernie Haas' signature, signature sound. He played uh, with Gold City. Uh, Roy and I go way back. We we both come from Southern Ohio, and we did a lot of sessions back together uh, back in the day. And um, he had posted this on his social media. And man, this is one of my favorite favorite Christmas songs. And you you couple that with a player like a Roy Webb, and uh, hear his arrangement on this. Uh, this is Grown Up Christmas List by Roy Webb. Thank you, Roy. Wow. Great job. Great job. I absolutely, again, that's one of my absolute favorite, favorite Christmas songs. And um, what what a cool arrangement on that. And what a player, you guys. If if um, if you're unfamiliar with Roy Webb and you are a, a pianist, man, um, just his, his, his chord voicings, the way he approaches things, it's just so new and refreshing. And uh, really, really honored to have him on our piano staff. You know, our CNS is, we, we teach vocal, we teach instrumentals, we teach songwriting. Uh, but right there in the very core of our logo is a piano in the sea. And, um, you know, obviously my dad was known, my dad was a gifted, gifted pianist. And um, he was known... Um, you know, for his playing ability. And so it's really, really, it's vitally important to me that our piano staff at CNS be top of the line. Um, lots, lots to, to live up to with not only my dad, but then, you know, Jeff Stice taught for us for 40 years and what a player Jeff was. And so it's really, really important for me to have a piano staff that is, um, you know, up to par um, you know, ready, not only to, to be great players, but great teachers. And, you know, coming up next is another one of those. Um, we, we brought James Rainey, James Michael Rainey on the staff, uh, a couple years back. He's, he's taught two years for us and man, what, what a great guy. What a, what a great player. And, um, this again is a, a, a social media thing that he had, had shared uh, over the last couple of weeks leading up to Christmas. And I pulled that. I wanted to use it for our uh, CNS online Christmas party on Friday night. And uh, want to share it with you here today 
on our podcast. So here comes James Michael Rainey. Thank you, James. Uh, a little Rudolph action there for us today. Hey, um, moving along, um, again, I played a couple uh, of our piano staff here, and then, you know, we brought somebody on at CNS 23 that um, we known her for, for a long time, um, her and her husband, and uh, but we brought her on. I didn't think we could get a lady like this on our staff and lo and behold, God worked it out. And, um, we were able to bring Allison Durham Spear onto our staff last year. And she came in and was just such a breath of fresh air to what we do and how we do crazy gifted, no doubt about that, but absolutely one of the most genuine down to earth, uh, humans that I've ever met. And um, she just came right in. We really, I didn't really have to tell her what to do or how to do or anything of the sort. She just kind of came in, came beside us, and got after things. And she's been posting um, this. This she she does a lot on social media, and she posted this, and and someone duetted her, stitched her, um, and it, she had sang Jingle Bells. And this caught my attention being a, not only a pianist, but a bass player. This one really caught my attention because this gentleman duetted her vocal with a bass guitar. And uh, this was just a lot of fun. So I wanted to share this with you today. This is Allison Durham Spear. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, I think you can definitely hear it there. Allison just loves life and loves to have fun. And uh, that's exactly what I hear when I hear that, just her version alone. And then what she's been doing, um, that's been inspiring other people to use their gifts and to do these duets with her. And it's just, it's so neat to watch what's happening with Allison's uh, social media and to see how, how God is, is doing some, some things there. Okay, I ran across this one too. Another one of our staff members, um, Jim Quails. Jim, Jim has a unique ministry. He primarily ministers to our seniors in uh, senior homes, memory care units. And what, what he gets to do is go in and allow these people just to, 
to have a little a little break in their day and he has fun with them with the styles of music that he does but then he lands it down uh to his ministry and he he transitions during his his program into uh old sunday school songs songs that we used to do back in sunday school and he he connects with those people because uh, they remember all of that. And once he's got them there, then he literally can do whatever he wants with um, his ministry. So uh, he's been on a Christmas tour, and this just really caught my attention. Um, again, he gets them there and gets them to be a captive audience. And he shared with them what the season and the real reason for the season is all about. Check this out from Jim Quails. And it came to pass in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Well, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Because, well, there was no room for them in the inn. And there was in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Man, I, I, that absolutely touches me. I, I, love, I love Christmas. Um, I didn't love it so much this year. I, you all, we opened gifts as a family. I don't think I even remember what we did. I just I felt so bad. But um, I, I love the real reason for this season. And... Um, you know, all, all of our slogans and our campaigns, keeping Christ in Christmas, you know, it it is such a joy to know and to truly believe in the real reason for the season and to understand that uh, this season is all about the birth of our Savior. And he came to this earth and the way that he came. And it's just, it's, uh, I hate to use the word magical, you know, because that's negative connotations, but... Um, it's the greatest gift ever given to humanity was that precious little baby. And you know what? I learned this being an, a, a, a parent for the first time. A baby changes absolutely everything. And that little baby came into this earth and he did. He changed everything. Hey, um, I'd shared on our last podcast, uh, uh, over, over the last couple of weeks, I was able to go out with James Michael Rainey, and we did uh, five different uh, Christmas dates together. We did a dueling um, Christmas piano thing, and um, uh, I wanted to share one of those arrangements. I actually, we started with me playing Joy of the World. This is Joy of the World again, but totally different, totally different feel. And uh, this was, let you get to see something that I was so honored to go out and be able to do and be part of with James Michael Rainey.
Y'all, that was so much fun getting to go out and uh, play with James and and share the stage with him on uh, those five five uh, programs. It was just absolute blast to be out on the road traveling with him and um, hope to do some more of that into 2024. Hey, we're going to wrap up. Uh, I'm going to finish with another song for me. This is um, one of my favorite Christmas songs, and this is off a, a CD that I did a couple years ago. Uh, this is Do You Hear What I Hear. Listen, you all just continue to enjoy the Christmas season. Say a prayer for me. I'm not feeling good. Um, but uh, we'll end with this, and hopefully we can be back a little bit more normal next week with our CNS podcast, The Best Day Yet. Y'all be blessed. Thanks for listening to the Charles Novell School of Music podcast, The Best Day Yet. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under the name The Charles Novell School of Music. And for more information on CNS and our upcoming events, like our online school, our weekend regional sessions, our creative coaching, and our pastor's retreat, you can visit us at our website at www. Dot cnsmusic.com. As you've listened to this episode, we hope that you've gained some information that you can apply to your music and to your ministry to make today the best day yet. 